click run once. All right, it's done. I'm gonna go now to my Gmail account. I'm open and here we are. This is a test. Now go again here and click perfect. Hi everyone, this video I'm gonna teach you how to connect your business email or a custom email in mail.com. Here would you wanna use emails normally you have these options. One of these is use Gmail or email. Okay, but what's the difference or what is the advantage that you have? Sometimes when you use your Gmail email, you have to update it all the time and it get out of configuration. With, with a custom email, it works better and it's also more professional. Okay, that's the difference. Well, when I start this, so there's a reason we need to know about SMATP, IMAP, and POP3. First of all, what are they? Okay, these three are protocols using most email services to send, receive, and store emails. I won't go into further details because that's not the point, but the stick with that is important for this video. Okay. The point is that these email protocols that you would use when you send an email, you're going to use SMTP protocol. And when you are going to retrieve or receive emails, you're going to use a map or POP3 protocol. Okay, that's all. Now let's jump into make the come and we're gonna start here. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start from scratch. Create a new scenario. And here we're gonna use email, not email, remember email. And in this part, the first of all, we're gonna send them email. And here, add and choose others. And if you want, you can put in a name here. And an email provider here, choose other again. And here, you're gonna need to copy and paste the email that you're gonna configure. It. I'm gonna use this email of this business. Your full name. It is not important. You don't need to complete it here. And click an SMATP server. In this part, it's important that you gonna go to your server, depending on the hosting. In my case, I'm using hostinger but you can use sitegrow or any other server but for this example i'm using hostinger and just need to go to your email and in the configuration sections you go and the point is that you need to look for this option when you will see the protocols smatp pop and I'm up, okay? Well, I'm gonna copy this part for SMATP and paste here. The next thing is, again, copy this email, the same email, paste here. And the password is the same password that you use for, for this email. I'm copy here and paste and click save. Alright, look at this. Now appears. Okay, it's done. That's all. Now I'm gonna make a test here. From here, I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna send an email.
Okay, I'm gonna send an email to this account. The subject test and here in the content this is a test okay the tool click ok now we're gonna make a test I'm gonna send an email click run once all right it's done I'm gonna go now to my gmail account oh is this new i'm open and here we are this is a test perfect now let's jump again into make the com the tool and i'm gonna add a new Example here for IMAP. I'm gonna choose again email. In this case, I'm gonna choose this watch emails. And here, I'm gonna do again add a new one. And and here, I'm gonna choose other. Okay, IMAP. Again here. I'm gonna choose the same provider order I'm up go again here copy this and paste here I'm gonna copy the email that I'm using and the password again okay here we are Click save. All right, it's done again. Click folder. It will depends on the, what we're gonna use because you wanna make what emails. In this case, inbox. And this part, all emails, sender email address. It's not matter. You don't need to go play here. And that's all. Click OK from now on. Now I'm gonna make a test here. I'm gonna go to my Gmail account and here for info as if that come and here subject info test hi. This is a test. Send this email. Perfect. Now go again here and click. Here we go. Perfect. Look at this. This is the new. And here we have text content. This is a text. Subject info test. All right. Everything is done, and here you can continue building your automation. Maybe you can go, you can add a new row in here. I have a here, email. Complete this field, and then you know, you can complete different fields here, you have here. And in the same case, you get ready, you save, you have this new module, send email, but you have this, everything done. In the same time, you can complete the subject, the content, okay? You can complete here, the email address, in this case, anyway. You can complete you can do different things here so that's all i think remember you can add different modules build different things here 
you can complete, create different automation for you, for your business, for your daily life. Anyway, you can do different things. If you have any question, feel free to leave them in the comments or contact me. Stay tuned for more and see you in the next video.